Given the roots of a binary tree, the task is to flatten the tree into a linked list using the same tree node class. The left child pointer of each node in the linked list should always be null, and the right child pointer should point to the next node in the linked list. The nodes in the linked list should be in the same order as that of the pre-order traversal of the given binary tree, and I explained pre-order traversal in the previous video, in the intro video for this uh, section and this playlist. And so imagine we get this input, right? So this is represented as this tree. You notice that the child of two is null. That's why this uh, entry in the array is null. And so pre-order traversal, um, remember it's depth first search. And so what that means is you, it means uh, you want to get to the, leave before you backtrack. And so in pre-order traversal, the parents always come before the children. And so one comes before two, and but then it's depth first search. So you wanna go all the way down to the, to the leaf nodes, three, and then come back to four, then five, then six. So for any subtree, the parent node or the root node comes before the leaf nodes for any subtree. When you do depth first, when you do, um, what's it called? pre-order traversal. So you notice four is not the parent of this subtree over here. One is. That's why one comes before these, but then four comes after. But as you can see here, and here are just some more examples. So you have five, two, three, four. Then you've completed the left. You start from the parent, go left, then come to the right. Then one, seven, six. Okay. Now for the solution, there's a naive approach, which is worth sharing, which is probably what you might come up with if you've not seen this problem before. So it's worth just uh, explaining briefly. So you flatten the tree by doing the traversal, pre-order traversal, storing the visited nodes in a queue. Okay, so you're using this data structure. And now after the traversal, start dequeuing the nodes and set the pointers of each node such that the right pointer of the dequeued node is set to the previously dequeued node and the left pointer is set to null. So you've done fulfilled the condition. Now, the only issue is it takes more space than necessary. So it's not in place. We're cloning every single thing. So it's O of N for space complexity. And now we can do this without any extra storage. And that's what I'm about to explain right now. So to do it, use DFS, start at the root. For each node, find the rightmost node in the left subtree. I would say rightmost leaf node in the left subtree. We then, we set the right pointer to the rightmost node of the current node's right pointer. Okay, if you're not confused already, then well done. And after that, we set its right pointer to the current node's left pointer. Finally, we set the current node's left pointer to null, repeat for all nodes in the binary tree. Now for this problem, looking at the code helped me a lot, more than that explanation. Uh, so between the code and the diagram, I was good. So I think it should not be too bad uh, for you, dear listener. So we have this tree represented here. And um, in our code, we have this function that where we pass in the roots of that tree that you just saw. Now, if it's null, we just return early. There's nothing to flatten. Otherwise, we initialize this cursor called current. Okay, so think of it as a cursor, like a cursor, like this cursor that's blinking right now in here. And I want to traverse the whole tree in a depth first search pat manner, right? A depth first uh, manner. And we also want it to be pre order traversal. So while there's something there, this cursor is going to keep moving through the tree. Uh, we're going to check the left because we remember we want to set the left to null. So if it's not null, this current thing is not null. Uh, what are we going to do? We need to get rid of that thing on the left. So we're going to find, I call it deepest right, right? They call it last, unfortunately, right? I call it the deepest. So it's the leaf, the right most leaf node on the left subtree of the current node. So the rightmost leaf node, the left subtree. So this is the left subtree, right? We're looking for the thing that is the rightmost leaf node, right? So because there's nothing on the right here, it's two. So they call it last, I call it deepest right. And it's a leaf node because there's not, there's no other node to, to its right. So to the regarding the right child, it is a leaf, right? Regarding the left, it's not a, it's not a leaf, right? But regarding the right, it is. And so we get that by doing this, by like, while there's something there, just keep going deeper and deeper and deeper. And that's how you set this, right? And now because there's nothing to the right, what we're gonna do is take what current is pointing to on the right and 
put that in its right. Okay, so that's what happened just here. All right. And now after that, we we've taken what, what was what was here on the right. So now we're gonna move what's on the left to the right, as you can see. So that's what happened. We took what was on the right, put it for this leaf leaf node, right, regarding with regards to being right. And these comments are useful too. We set current's right to its left, okay? Right? And then we remove the left, remove the left subtree, make it null. So you can see that we are already flattening it. I'm making this whole binary tree a linked list. And then we just rinse and repeat. That's the name of the game. So while there's something to, to do, at the end of the day, right, you just move current to the next thing, okay? To the next thing on the right, in which, which case it's going to be two. And you just do it again. So now we're on to two. Now the for the left subtree of two, the rightmost leaf, right, the 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 first child node without a right pointer is going to be three. So we're going to set the deepest right to three. Move what's on the right for current in here, right, to become the right thing here, as you can see. Then do the same thing. Take this left pointer and assign it to the right pointer, which again happens um, here, right? This code assigns what's on the left pointer that we just uh, made happen, right? Um, actually, no, that we didn't make happen. Yeah, it was always there. So assign what's on the right here, over here, to this one's right pointer. Now it was a leaf node, so that we didn't override anything. And then move what's on the left, because everything on the left is supposed to be null. Move what's on the left to the right and set that to null. So it, that, that happens. And then current just keeps moving. Now current is done with two, comes to three. Oh, there's actually nothing on the left at three. So it just moves on. Okay. And now there's something on the left. And it's also a leaf node with regards to what's on the right. So we'll move what's on the right here, there, six to five. And then we've moved it. So we keep, we've kept track of it. We've not lost it. It's just not there, but we've not lost it. Now we're going to move five to the right or four. Okay. Then current just keeps moving. Updating to next. Checks that there's nothing to the left to do. So come to six. There's nothing to the left to do. And there's nothing to the right. So uh, we are done. Right? Because when it comes to six, it's going to update again to right. And then it's going to become null. So this is going to break out. And we're done. We just return to root. Symphony. We have done it in place, we didn't need a queue. And so our time complexity has, is the same with the naive method O of n. However, our space complexity is O of one. Okay, that's all there is to it. Like, comment, subscribe, share, right? Leave a comment. Uh, thank you for watching, upvote, right? If you saw, see this video on LeetCode and uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.